Well, I'm gonna let it do it. Let it. Uh, oh, no, no. Well, we're gonna disengage. I mean, okay, <laughs> go back in that lane there. Okay. All right. Well, see, here's that's a- that's what I mean about weird scenarios. Okay, I am here with George Hotz at the with the comma AI self driving. Well, not quite self driving, assisted driving um, hardware that you can put into basically. Well, how many? 39 different models? 63. 63 different models. So um, at 35 miles an hour, I'm just going to hit the regular cruise yep, control just button. Hit set. Just hit set. I'm right going to hit set at You're 37 on. miles an hour. You're on. All right, here we go. And the steering is on as well? Steering is on as well. We, right. don't, have, we don't have states. We don't have any complex states like that. It's okay. like it's either engaged it's, or but disengaged. not engaged. If you heard that beep beep, uh-huh. it's engaged and you are good to go. All right. So, so. this is your, this is comma... Uh, 0.7, correct? The last 0.7. time we saw you, it was 0.5. So what are some of the differences between what we saw the last time we took a drive in San Francisco and now this drive that we've we got here in San Francisco? We can deal with much more... I mean, new- sorry, we're in, in Vegas. Las Vegas, yes. <laughs> uh, we can deal with much oh my God, more that nuanced scenarios. <laughs> um, well... I'm going to let it do it. Let it, uh, ah, no, no, well, we're going to disengage. I mean, okay. <laughs> Go back in that lane there. Okay. All right. Well, see, that's a- that's what I mean about weird scenarios. Right. 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 There's nothing you can do that's safe there. Right. Um, and that was definitely something. This is why yeah. we say that that there are no self-driving cars. Yeah. This is still something that right. you have. You to can pull- re-engage right here. And you're okay. Good. This is something where you have. Put this up to- oh yeah, put me up to a regular. Yeah. So speed. it's it's just like normal cruise control. Okay. Um. We should be good now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So there are no self-driving cars in this world, right? Because you don't you. There, you still have things like that giant truck coming out in front of us where the driver does have to take control. So in your system, you don't have to keep your hands on the wheel. I can keep my hands off the wheel, but I still have to be engaged with my eyes. So how does this system know that I'm still paying attention? So we have a camera right here. It's actually watching. Okay. Because we're at a full stop, mm-hmm. it's not going to progress beyond the green alert. Okay. Um, but when the car starts to go, if you were still distracted, you'd hear a little beep. And uh, we can we can actually just do it right now, and it's going to just beep at you and tell you, yo, we're moving. Yep. Oh, okay. And there you right, go. You look right back at the road, and you're good. Okay. So uh, now this car ahead of us has gone, and the car, the Civic, has gone just fine, just keeping up with this guy. And we're set to 39 miles an hour. That is the max that mm-hmm. the system can do, but I thought we could do this on the highway as well. Oh, you can set that to whatever you want. Okay. So it's just like cruise control. You can set that to anything at all that you want. Um... I think I think our max is like 95 or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna let this car drive itself at 95 miles an hour. <laughs> but all right. So, uh, what are some of the new features that we have here in this Look new at this. point? We're about to go through an intersection. There's yep. weird lines everywhere. There's a mm-hmm. car next to you, and it's gonna stay perfectly on track and line us up right in the middle there. The really impressive ones are when the intersection is on a curve. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it 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 projects. It understands where humans would drive the car. Okay. It's not just looking at lane lines. The lane lines actually on the display are mostly just there to reassure you. Um, what it's actually using is that middle path there. Oh, and that's okay. where it's deciding okay. this is where I want to put the car. Look, the lane lines are gone, and it drives perfectly. And it still the knows. Okay, so it's kind of like looking forward to saying what is on the other side of this intersection that yeah. that is would logically connect me it's, to. I mean, it's not even really that. It's asking the question, if I'm a human in this scenario, where do I want to put the car? Okay. Right? And then it puts the car there. So how does it know how... Okay, now we've got lane lines in the middle of the intersection, and it curves. Okay. And then it's going to curve back. Hey, look at that. All right. All right. Now, how does it know how a human would drive? Um, It's watched... So we have about uh, 10 million miles on these devices now, on the fleet. Okay. Um, and it, these devices upload the driving data to our servers. And this is driving data of people who have already purchased this hardware. Mm-hmm. So we have about uh, 1,000 daily active users, okay. 1,500 monthly active users. And those are people who have this installed in their car. And they're basically teaching the system how to drive. Okay. That truck scenario back there where you had to correct it, every time users correct it, it gets uploaded to our servers, and our servers can learn from that. So that's on the server now. The truck experience yeah. is on the server. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's cool. Um, that takes a little bit of time. The full resolution one only gets uploaded over Wi-Fi. Okay. All right. So Why now not? our lead car has yeah. moved away. So we're gonna just like regular cruise see control or regular adaptive cruise. Did you see that? Move did you, up. Did you yeah. See? He just cut right in front of us. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll oh, but that. what was really yeah. nice is that car just cut in front of us and. 
I felt a little bit of breaking, yeah. but not like yeah, a yeah, yeah. huge amount. I've been in other um, systems where it's just adaptive cruise control. I still have control of the steering wheel, yeah. but where the braking can often be really jarring. That doesn't seem to be a problem in this vehicle. We, yeah, so with, with scenarios like that, we have cut-ins and cut-outs, we know what the car's gonna do. We have very sophisticated models saying, like it's not just saying, there's a car, I need to stop. Uh -huh. It looks at that car, it knows the temporal history of that car, and it's saying, well, I know that car is actually crossing the road. Right, and I'll it's slow down a little, little to bit. make okay. almost to make you comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, in the last version that we saw, uh, there wasn't any automatic lane change, uh, but you said that there is in here. And it looks like maybe a good time to change the lane. Yeah, if you'd like. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, so just turn the blinker on to the right. Okay. Oh uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's wait a minute because we have a big turn coming. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we'll do an automatic lane change to the sure. left because uh, the demo is actually almost over. Okay. Um, so we've got this big change to the left. Okay. Uh, it doesn't now. Is this connected to maps? Does it know that that's a big change and it'll that's a big curve this and big maybe turn? it'll slow down? No, it's just looking. Okay. Um, it slows down for the curves. It actually it, does, it will. Slow it down. will slow down for the curves okay. just by looking at the curves. Okay. You'll see it slowed down a tiny bit there, but yeah, it wasn't it did. That two, I'm at two thirty-seven. So these now. are tricky scenarios. Look, you're coming up behind a stopped car, a right. blind stopped, stopped car, car, and yeah. look at that. That was really smooth. Yeah. Change yeah. lanes to the left now. Turn okay. the blinker on to the left. In the intersection. Yeah, good. Right. Uh, and now. Uh, nudge, well, turn it off and on again. Now nudge the car to the left. There you go. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, yeah, so right. I still have to look in my mirror. Yes. I still have to. Uh, and you're actually going to want to turn to the parking lot right here. Okay. So I'm going to take over. Yes. All right. And so to disengage, it's just a tap on the brake, a tap on the cancel, and or a little bit of, whoa, or a little bit of, uh, so to disengage, it's just a tap on the brake, uh, cancel, or just a, any kind of uh, torque on the steering wheel? So torque on the steering wheel won't cancel, but it will override the steering. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. So if it detects that you're putting torque on the steering wheel, it'll stop putting any torque on the steering okay. wheel. Um, it's so you can make minor adjustments without having to disengage. All right. Uh, so just pull in here, and now you're ready for the bad surprise. Oh, the bad surprise. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, well, so if you saw, aside from the uh, incident with the truck uh -huh. incurring into our lane, you uh -huh. got zero disengagements? Yeah. Um, one of the problems that we have as a company mm -hmm. that we try to convey is when self-driving cars work well, you notice nothing. Okay. You had to do nothing. And you even had to ask yourself, did I have to do anything? Right, right. No, I did, yeah. You didn't. Except for, again, that truck shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was the truck's fault. But, but aside from that, so what I'm going to do now okay. is we're just going to turn the car off. There's a little toggle switch right in here. Yeah. Um, and this toggle switch is called Enable Open Pilot. So I'm going to turn Same. it off. Okay. And now you have the stock Honda system. And you can drive us home. Oh, on the stock <laughs> Honda system? Yeah. All right. Um, now remember, the Honda, you know, people say open pilot. Oh, it's, it's adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. Um, yeah, so now you see it's in dash cam mode. OK, so, so this is just, just a regular dash cam. Yeah. It's not monitoring me? No, okay. it's not monitoring you. It only monitors you while the system is engaged. OK. So just go right up here. Um, and yeah, feel free to try to, uh, to try to drive us home on the, on the stock systems, and if you want, you can uh, you can count how many uh, disengagements it has. All right, so yeah. we're gonna set. Oh, it doesn't set below. Oh wait, there we go. Twenty-seven. We'll set it up to thirty. And there's the steering. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so yeah, well, uh, that didn't really work. Yeah, no, yeah. it didn't really doesn't work. Doesn't see these lanes at it all. It doesn't see these lanes now. No. Whereas Open Pilot would drive you perfectly here. And it's not slowing down at all for this turn. No, it definitely doesn't slow down for the turns. <laughs> See? You're evil, man. I mean, and this is what you have to do because people don't get it. It's so hard to communicate how really good the system is. Um, I don't even think Tesla Autopilot can do that stretch without disengagement. You don't think so? Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to, what about, you know, like Mercedes-Benz is pretty good. Oh, which one? Uh, what was the last one I was in? Um, it was in the GLB and the CLA, the new GLBs and CLAs. I haven't tried that. Maybe it has gotten better. But I would like to see another system that's capable mm -hmm. of doing that. That's not like Waymo, which doesn't count. See, and I'm not sure that the lane keeping assist in this Honda works at this low of a speed. It might just only, it might only work and read the lane lines at highway speeds. I'm not 100% sure, though. I think though. it's 18. Oh, 18 miles an hour? I think so, yeah. Oh, I'm at 35. Um, and it's not seeing any of that. Well, there's no lanes. Right? Well, Th these aren't, well, they're not lanes. 
There are lane markers, though. Well, that not on this side, but there's lane markers over here. There's bot dots. So it, this doesn't read bot dots. Uh, depends. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, we're coming up on a red light here. Let's see what happens. I know, oh, this one probably doesn't work. It might disengage at um, 25 miles an hour, so I'm gonna cover the brake. <laughs> <laughs> totally covering the brake. I stop, mean, stop, it's stop. gonna stop, but uh, uh. It's gonna stop, no, that was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. That, that one wasn't that bad, that one wasn't that bad. And I have it set for th um, the furthest distance. Yeah. All right, so it has me, it says stopped. I can't really tell if it's disengaged. A lot of times they'll disengage and then you'll like roll forward a little bit. But right now I'm able to keep my foot off the brake and still remain still. This car's pretty good about that, yeah. yeah. The, the new cars will do it. Um, aside from Tesla and Super Cruise, I don't know another one that will now just re-engage. Right, yeah, so yeah, So yeah. when that car pulls away, you're gonna have to step on the gas. Yeah. So is this new software available now? Okay, so you um, could go, and you can just go to comma.ai and purchase all of this? So we only sell hardware. Okay. Um, we don't sell software, uh, we give software away. Oh, that's right, your software is open source. Our software is open source and free, available on our GitHub. Okay. Um, the hardware that we sell, so this is our new hardware. Uh, okay. This is the comma 2. Um, and what do, like if someone wants to purchase this system, what all do they need to buy? They, with the comma 2, they just need to buy a comma 2, and this is called a car harness. Here? Yeah, I know what a car um, harness is. <laughs> well, we, we called it... Oh, it didn't move. There we go. So I got to step on the gas. All right. We called it... Um, the, the... Nope, it's not going to read that. The giraffe and the panda. You guys had a bunch of different <coughs> animal names. All, All gone. that's gone? Okay. Buy a comma two and a car harness. We okay. really tried to uh, make our naming a little bit right. more consumer friendly. And does, does the harness go into the OBD? Um, yeah, so it connects through down to the OBD. We can show you the installation video. Okay. Um, it's, it's pretty easy. You run one wire to the OBD and you connect it up here as well. Okay. Well, and what's nice too is the last time we, we did this, the rear view mirror was gone mm -hmm. and there was a bunch of stuff here and it was kind of messy and sloppy. And now we've just got this, which is, I kind of wish it were a little bit lower because this is in the way, but that might just be my tall driving position. Um, and then just that one cord that comes up and everything's very neat inside the cabin. So when you buy it, you can mount it wherever you want. Oh, okay. You can put it down on the windshield. Okay. I like it there because I like it out of the way, not obstructing the view. Uh -huh. um, and I can still see it. I think I drive down a little lower. Um, all right, that's cool. Um, all right, so so if I were to purchase this, I just need to purchase the Comma 2 and the car harness. Yep. And then download the um, open source software. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that sounds simple. How long does it take to install? Let's see what we get here. We're going to get a cutout. Oh, it's going to be fine. Uh, it takes about uh, 15 minutes. Okay. Even for non-techie people? 30 if you want to go slow. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing has... No. Like, I would not... <coughs> well, let's right. see if we get this one. Is that going to be at a full stop car? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Come on. Don't fuse. Yeah, don't fuse stock system. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look. This is really... We're going really stop, close. Stop, I don't stop. believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I had changed that to stop to the closest distance to the car in front of me. I, there's no way it's on. So, stock systems almost never see a completely stopped car. Really? Oh, yeah. I wasn't going to trust it. I didn't trust it. There was no way I was going to trust that. Um, but, but you can put, you can put the thing up, up to max. and then So if you're behind a car that's moving, it can track the object over time. Mm -hmm. The problem with the stopped cars, it's easy to confuse it if you don't have good vision software for a light post or for a manhole cover. Mm, okay. Um, we can put Open Pilot back on if you want. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, that's it for my drive here with the Comma 2 and George Hotz. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly learned a lot. It uh, seems to be a little bit better than the stock system here in the Honda Civic. Uh, we've got a bunch of coverage here from CES at Las Vegas, both at Roadshow and CNET. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one.